A brief essay on human culture was written by Fabled Tiefling. You can find it on the SCP Wiki at https colon forward slash forward slash scp dash wiki dot wiki dot dot com forward slash a dash brief dash essay dash on dash human dash culture. You will find a link in the description below. I often walk down the halls of my site and hear various people discussing how familiar some of the anomalies in our care are, creatures and beasts that spark the imagination, reminding people of stories they heard growing up. It's true, honestly. A not insignificant number of anomalies in the Foundation care are creatures and concepts that are familiar to the general public, as they have a place in human legends and folklore. The question that normally follows is why? Why is the public allowed to effectively know that these creatures exist? These are anomalies, things that go against the natural order of the world, and by all means should be hidden away and never heard from again. The Foundation has the means to effectively wipe all knowledge of these entities away from the general public subconscious, so why doesn't this happen? Webster's defines culture as the customs, arts, social institutions, and achievements of a particular nation, a people, or other social group. Trite, I know. Culture, though, is who we are as a people, and it's unique to every single person. It's informed by your lived experiences, where you come from, how you were raised, everything you've gone through in life helps to shape your personal culture and identity and in turn, your culture and identity shapes that of others around you. Culture is how we as humans create a unified understanding of how we interact with one another and how the world interacts with us. It creates our beliefs, our customs, our understanding, and so on. So what does this have to do with anomalies? Well, once again, if you look through our files, you'll see familiar names and descriptions. Creatures iconic to various cultures from around the world, from the South American Yate Vio to Chinese dragons. Truly, nearly every mythical beast either is real or was real at some point. Our stories come from a place of truth, so why does the general public get to keep these stories? Culture is a multifaceted thing. Each of these creatures plays a role in our culture. It's well known that humans have been telling stories since... They first learned how to communicate with each other, basing these tales on the world around them. The crackling thunder was a furious god, and the beast with red eyes was something to be feared. These stories created understanding, and then they became tales of morality and lessons to internalize. To answer the question I keep hearing, why don't we just eliminate them from the public's memory? The answer is simple. In doing so, we would fundamentally lose a piece of who we are as humans. We would lose the stories that shaped us as people and help us understand the world around us. Our culture, our identity, would be fundamentally changed. These stories have their place in inspiring awe and fear in us. And as a result, there's no way to remove them without fundamentally changing what it means to be human. And besides, isn't it nice for the world to feel a little bit more magical? Dr. Farron Carraway. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. You can probably hear in my voice that it's a little bit rough, or maybe you can't, I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a cough this week, but I think it's getting better, and I think next week I should be able to get back to making videos on screen again. Uh, but it was... Uh, is, you know what, I, I actually kind of enjoy doing some of these readings every once in a while. Anytime I can find an essay or a first-person perspective tale, it's uh, it's fun to get it out of the way. I, I like doing these. But if you'd like to support the channel even further, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Kejmal, who has pledged at $50. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.